Hi, it's 2 a.m. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I am ready for bed. I got all my shit going on. I got my like pimple cream on. I got... You know what I mean? I'm ready for bed. But plot twist, I'm not going to bed. I pull all-nighters, like a lot, probably too much, like an unhealthy amount. I'd say at least once a week, if not like twice. Not more than twice, because like if I do more than two in a week, like I lose it. Like I'm talking about like maniac behavior. I'm talking about call the social security number. That didn't make any sense. This is so ironic. I'm literally pulling one right now. It's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I need help. But I can't go to bed tonight. And let me tell you why. Well, I spent the past four hours watching a crime documentary on Netflix. It's actually called Evil Genius. This is not partnered with them, although I wish it was. Netflix. Uh, it's like a four part documentary, like four episodes, and it is creepy as fuck, and I'm spooked as fuck. But here's the problem, right? Normally when I watch scary shit at night, I usually follow it up with something fun and lighthearted to kind of like take my mind off things and make me a little bit less anxious or whatever. Tonight, that wasn't an option. My Wi-Fi just died. Died. I don't know what's going on. I'm very concerned and worried. My ability to watch a funny, heartwarming video before bed was taken away from me and whipped out of my hands. And now I'm all freaked out. I tried to like lay in bed, but my heart was like beating. Like I literally can't go to bed. Like I, I can't. I had the idea to pull an all-nighter. Now usually when I pull all-nighters, it's to edit because I have to get a video done. This time is different because I don't have anything I need to get done tonight. Well, I do, but I'm just not gonna do it. I was like, why not turn this moment of anxiety into content? First thing that I think we need to do is we need to make a coffee, sis. Don't be silly here now. I'm also not taking off my pimple cream. I don't care what anyone says. Like, these zits need to go away. Great. For our first all-nighter activity, we're just gonna get hyped up on coffee because that's always the best way to start a video and the only way in my career thus far that I start a video. I'm really excited because I bought these cool vanilla coffee pods for my espresso and they just taste absolutely phenomenal. So, been really digging that lately. Also have these mini little espresso jars that I can use. Also phenom. Does anyone even care about the stuff I'm talking about right now? I mean, I hope not, because that'd be kind of sad. Like, imagine if you cared about my coffee pods. That's, like, depressing, but, I mean, if you do care, bless your soul, baby. Also, something really funny happened to me the other day, and I thought I would share. I decided that I would be a conscientious health queen for not only myself, but also for the earth, and I thought that I would start buying reusable straws because... So I decided I would order some reusable straws off Amazon and care for my planet. I don't know, I wasn't really thinking. I just literally added the first ones I saw to my cart and then called it a day. They show up to my house the other day, okay? And look how fucking long they are. What? Like, like what the fuck is this? And I ordered like 40 of them. Like why would I, I don't know what, I don't know why I couldn't tell you. Maybe I'll use it today, that'd be kind of funny. Would you laugh if I used it? This video, you would think like, oh, all nighter, and like, wow, this is gonna be a lit vlog. Well, you're wrong because there's literally nothing to do at night. I don't know what to do. Maybe we could fold some laundry. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to the store. Might go to the store and buy Cheez-Its. I don't know, lately I've been really into Cheez-Its. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I literally can't believe myself, but I'm kind of into it. Wait, why is this low key like, really bond as fuck like this whole thing going on here like the coffee tastes great like the straw is actually a great distance from my head i can do it without hands i'm kind of fucking with this why am i not mad in this situation this is so against all social cues i thought i'd do a little laundry folding life update because honestly you guys have a lot that you need to be updated on also the camera's crooked is that better no but whatever <sighs> a lot has happened i moved to la i live here now do i like it yes am i having an identity crisis yes Let's not lie about it. I had my whole routine down at home. You know, I had my friends, I had my like, life, I had everything all like figured out. And then I moved here and all of that has changed. My entire YouTube life career all started and existed when I was at home. And so now I'm trying to like adjust here and like figure out a new routine because I don't have a routine down right now. Now this probably makes any sense and I'm probably gonna cut all of this out, but like it's a lot. 
Anyway, so now that I admitted to the internet that I'm having an identity crisis, let's talk about some fun things. Oh, one fun thing that I know everybody's just dying to know about is why I moved here. Because I remember I said a little while back that there was this whole big scary reason that I moved here, and there is. But I now realize, and I talked to my parents about it, and they agree, that it's not the best idea safety-wise to talk about it yet, because my mom still lives in the apartment that I used to live in. And I go home and visit there still sometimes. So talking about this situation while I still return to that same home sometimes is not a good idea. Yeah, like I don't want to die. Actually, I kind of do. But I can't tell the story yet, but once my mom moves, which I don't know when she's gonna move, it might be in a year, it might be in six months, it might be in five years. I, you have my word, I will tell you the story. It's a little sketch and it would be really good clickbait. I kind of got you guys excited about that for nothing and then my parents were like, Emma, you can't tell the story yet because it's not safe. And then I was like, ugh. I think those were the two big elephants in the room. I was trying to think about things that aren't disappointing. Uh, wow, can't really think of any. Hmm, that's upsetting. Well, I mean, some good news would be that my apartment's coming along quite nicely. Feeling really good about that. You know what, we're having fun with the process. I'm getting really jacked from having to move things every day. Furniture and big boxes, so that's really good for me and also me looking more like a boy than before, which is upsetting because we're still single and we are still looking for love more desperately than ever. Ever! What else is going on? Wow, really running out of stuff. Um really starting to get desperate here. In other news, I have not shaved my legs in a month. I look like a chinchilla and it's not good and I'm not okay with it. I can feel my leg hair staticking to my sweatpants right now and I'm not okay with it. I'm not and I don't want it to be that way and I never wanted it to ever be that way. I, this isn't what I wanted. I'm not gonna hang on myself because I do my best and I am just living in the moment and doing me. <laughs> Okay, I'm done folding my laundry. Like, I have nothing else to do with that. So now we have to figure out another activity to do so that you guys don't get bored. Um, comment down below if this video is super fucking boring. I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and buy Cheez-Its. Do I need to do that? No. Did I have pizza today? Yeah, I did. And I ate like four slices of it. And I also had breadsticks and garlic bread and I'm feeling very thick. But I really want Cheez-Its. You have to follow your gut. And what is my gut saying? It's saying Cheez-Its now. I love that for me. Mm. That is hot. Mm. This cream, I probably should watch it off because it kind of looks like cocaine. People in LA are very judgmental. When you're going in public, even at night, late at night, you never know who you're gonna see. That's worrisome. I don't want to be judged for who I am. But in LA, you are judged for who you are. Whereas at home, I can go around looking like a piece of ass. Let's rephrase. I can walk around looking like ass. No one really cares, but here you get stared at. It's like... I find myself trying to look good when I'm here because everyone else looks good. It's like weird for me because I'm very used to not giving a fuck. But here I'm kind of like more like, oh shit, maybe I will put on a little concealer today on my under eye bags. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. There's nothing wrong with putting a little effort in. But also at the end of the day, you should be able to walk around and not give a fuck. And I need to learn that. I don't know, LA's changing me. I'm scared to go around looking ugly. Too late, I'm ugly all the time. Should I do an OTD? Uh OTD time. That little, what just cracked? It's literally so fucking spooky at night. <clears throat> like I just had to walk to my car and I literally, well, okay, do you know what? It's normally not spooky, but this is why I can't watch scary shit because now I just think a murder is gonna pop out at any moment. It's not the best. All right, we out, we out ladies. Out to get Cheez-Its. Oh my God, that's the ugliest lighting. Whatever, I didn't have a boyfriend before and I wasn't expecting to have one after this video. So here we are. Oh my God, there's a drunk lady. Okay, we're going to Rite Aid. I don't know, it just feels right. I also Starting know- Starting route to Rite Aid. That's just what I feel- Shut up. That's just what I feel like is right, and I'm not gonna not listen to my instinct today. Also, why would I go to an entire head ass? Why did I just say head ass? I'm not. I've never said that before. Why would I go to an entire grocery store when I could go into Rite Aid? It's smaller, more intimate. Mmm. That's hot. There's no one on the road right now. I'm kind of fucking with it to be TBH. Oh, there's a Walgreens. You know what? That Walgreens does not look safe. Okay, I'm done. Okay, what are the odds we're gonna die in this Rite Aid? Like, be honest with me. I've been in a ride aid at like 2.30 a.m. before, so I feel like this is okay. Uh, I feel like I know what I'm getting myself into. Why is there an entire party going on right outside of the ride aid? It was definitely not a party and it was definitely a brand. I almost said brand deal. <laughs> Drug deal.
I need help. What have I just gotten myself into? Am I about to get into, like, am I about to rage right now? Yo, Loki down. <laughs> uh -uh. Running this, I'm running the red light. Just kidding, I didn't run a red light. Don't, mom and dad, do not take away my privileges. I am still underage. Let's go acquire the bag. Secure the bag. That's what the kids say these days. Where the fuck are they? I don't know. <gasps> Where are the normal ones? Oh my god, they're sold out. Are you kidding me? Because I have to get the mini box. So I walk up and the lady's like, yeah, we're closed. And I was like, hunty, it literally says that it's open 24 hours on your sign. Like that ain't it, you know? And I was about to walk away and she was like, oh, do you just want to grab something real quickly? And so I ran in. I got two of these mini things because they literally didn't have any of the normal size. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the universe telling me, Emma, you need to cut down on the Cheez-Its, which honestly is much needed. I eat way too many. Oh my God, it's a bunch of little mini bags. There's like nine Cheez-Its in each bag. It's like... I'm literally just offended that like the universe is telling me to go on a diet. I'm so offended. Oh my god, it tastes like crack. This is my crack. Everyone else in LA does real crack, but this is like my crack. I wouldn't be mad if a guy proposed to me by giving me a bag of Cheez-Its, making me eat to the bottom of the bag in one sitting, and then at the bottom of the bag was a ring. Husband, future husband, are you watching this? Don't act like you don't hear this. I'm gonna eat all these in one bite, I don't care. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, that's a bad combination, why don't I do that? Alright, let's just get right into it. Okay, literally don't want to do that anymore. I am so tired. I don't even know what else to do. Do I go to bed? Do I stay up? Do I eat more Cheez-Its? I'm gonna eat more Cheez-Its. I'm slowing down, can you tell? need to go to bed. That was my all-nighter. Was it a fail? Of course it was. We did our best. We had fun. If you had fun, let me know. If you didn't have fun, I'm sorry. We'll try again next time. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me. Good night, sweet dreams. This is kind of a degrading experience because I pull all-nighters all the time and then this just like takes away my street cred because I like failed. I don't know if this helps me regain my street cred, but I just pulled an all-nighter successfully. It's 7 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? Like, I don't... <laughs> I'll see you later. Have a good one. Ew, who says that? Okay, well, me, apparently. Love you. Bye. <laughs>